with all of the fitting that going on and the world today in advice for us as we are in Medina and Medina. Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam ala rasulillah wa ba'd. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and he said, as we find in the authentic hadith, innama lu'ulama wa rathatul anbiya. The scholars are the inheritors of the prophets. And we know that the scholars, they see the fitna before it's coming. It's mentioned by Al-Hasan al-Basri rahimahullah ta'ala. And the ignorant only recognizes the fitna once it has left. Alhamdulillah, spending some time in Medina, the city of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, and visiting a number of the scholars, and sitting with some of the senior scholars of this ummah. It's important for our brothers and sisters to recognize that when it pertains to affairs that affect the ummah, it's not for influencers or young people or even just young graduates to talk about these affairs like they are Ahl al-Fatwa and they are those to be returned to in a nawazi. We have the statement, Barakallahu Fikum, of Abdullah ibn Mas'ud radiallahu anhu and he said that this nation will not cease to be in a state of good as long as they take knowledge from their elders. And if they take it, from the youth and the young, then they will be destroyed. Alhamdulillah, we have the likes of Sheikh Abdul Mahsin Al Abad, Sheikh Rabi' and others in Al Medina. In Riyadh, we have Sheikh Al Fawzan and Sheikh Abdul Aziz Al Sheikh and others. There are senior scholars alive, Alhamdulillah, who are qualified to address these issues and shall be returned to and asked. Barakallah fikum. Imam Malik, rahimahullah. Look, and we all know the status of Imam Malik, rahimahullah ta'ala. He said, ما أفتيت حتى شهد لي سبعون من أهل العلم. I did not give a verdict until 70 of the people of knowledge testified that I was able to do so. Naam, subhanallah, that's fatwa. What about issues that pertain to the ummah, the well-being of the Muslims globally? These are for the senior scholars. The senior scholars of this ummah, alhamdulillah, that have wisdom, that have insight, that have knowledge, that have experienced many of these things, similar things in the past. Naam, alhamdulillah, best qualified to handle them now in the present. Not like some people who just want to get more likes, or for example, they're looking for followers or fame. Alhamdulillah, we don't find this amongst our scholars, and they are those, no doubt, who care most for this ummah. Naam, jazakum la khairan, barakallah.